if it was not obvious already by the attire, we're taking a look at an Indiana Jones thing. And not just any Indiana Jones thing, a Lego Indiana Jones thing. I am very, very excited because this is the start of Lego month in March. I am very excited to get into this. I am super excited about this set in particularly because it's a pretty dope set and I really do like this set. And plus the Lego Indiana Jones line from the like, I think it was like last year is peak. I absolutely love uh, the Lego Indiana Jones line. It's pretty dope line. It's a huge nostalgic thing and bringing it back was like honestly one of the coolest thing they can ever do. And uh, yeah, we finally have one of the sets right here. So this is not just any Lego Indiana Jones set. Uh, this is set 77012, the fighter plane set. I am very excited to get into this because this is a pretty dope set. I absolutely love the way this one looks. And of course, this is based off the third movie, The Last Crusade. And um, it's, it's such a cool iconic scene and I don't think they could have chosen any other iconic scene to be put into Lego besides this one. So we're going to take a look at the box and we're going to take a look at the actual set itself and that's pretty much what we do. That's what we do here and I am very excited. So I hope you enjoy the start of Lego month with this pretty iconic Lego Indiana Jones set. So this box is the set box and it looks absolutely fantastic. I love, it's, it looks iconic. Like this is easily like a really dope Indiana Jones set. I love the wall right here with the, uh, you know, almost like temple looking um, background to it. The Lego Indiana Jones logo, the whip that's coming around here. That's just like super awesome. I love the little Indiana Jones minifigure. Plus the map in the background. I think that's so, so cool. And of course we have the image of the set right in front of us, which I think is really dope with a kind of a little Legoized version of the scene that happened in the movie. You get three minifigures. It comes with 387 pieces and it's for ages eight and up. And I am definitely in the up area. So we also get a little um, figures right back here, which is pretty dope. Standard lego stuff pretty much also along the side here we also get an image of another uh of the exact same image right here which is pretty dope and on the other side pretty much the exact same at the bottom pretty much just all their barcodes and kind of legal info i guess and of course we have some more at the at the back right here which is really really dope pretty much shows off a little bit of the play features some of the stuff you can do with the set and just showing off some more kind of iconic scenes from the movie so that's pretty much it with this set so without further ado let's get the set out here and let's take a look at it and here is the entire set in all of its legalized glory it just looks so cool i absolutely love this entire set i think it's just so cool that they were able to make this set and it just it's it's such a unique looking set but uh we're gonna start off with the smallest build which will be the little car and then we'll move on to the plane and that's pretty much where we're gonna end it here so i am very excited to get into this let's take a look at that little car I think the car itself is a very unique looking build. I really do like the way this thing turned out. Love the little building technique of the uh, kind of trunk piece being connected by the little, um, I, I call them usually bionicle hands, but I also, you can call them like wrench pieces or whatever. But I think that they did a fantastic job with building that. And uh, if it might, if mine set seems a little dusty because it probably is because I've had this on the shelf for a bit. I just haven't, you know, gotten around to reviewing this set until now but uh there is a little bit of dust on there so and eh, my bad you know what i mean but well, the show must go on really do like the front of it i love these little pieces for the grill here the little cheese bloat their little uh, 
vented cheese slopes. I think that's really cool. You also do have the headlights there, which are very nice in the little window here. Very simplified build, but I think it's really, really dope. No play features on this thing, but it does look nice. I really do like the overall shape of this set, um, especially the back as well. I think that's a very unique little set. And um, I do like the kind of inclusion of like a fake spare tire. Bless you. Chill out, my guy. But uh, it does look very nice. I really do like the interior, which the interior is very nice. I really do like the steering wheel. And it has enough for two people, which is perfect for what we're doing here. It also does come with a chest in the back here. And if you open that up, you can see that we have some accessories, which is one of Indiana Jones's uh, whips and a little pistol as well, which I think is really nice. There's also a little slot right in here. So if we take the little bag that comes with the our main character, Indiana Jones' father, we can slide that right into there, and there you go. You have a little bit of storage space there. So I think that's very, very nice. I really do like the way they did that. Um, the bottom of the, uh, the vehicle, nothing special. Uh, I think it's very nicely tame, um, but I think that this whole little vehicle is very nice. And of course, it does have the ability to roll around on the um, on any surface because of those little tires which is very nice really do like that um but yeah this whole little set is super super cool really do like the way this car looks and that's pretty much it for the vehicle actually quite a surprise that uh, lego would actually do a fighter plane um Lego does have some pretty interesting rules when it comes to building sets. So the fighter plane set is actually really, really cool that they were able to do. And it looks very nice. I love the 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 whole engine part here. Now, I don't know much about planes, but I'm just going to go off of what I see. But uh, I really do like these little parts here. I think that's really, really nice. I think that's such a nice little detail. Of course, you got the little propeller right here, which actually does spin, which is super, super cool. Um, they kind of use these little... Um, paddle boat pieces from what I can tell is what they are. It's what they look like to me. I'm pretty sure that's what they've been used by, but uh, they have a whole bunch of different types of uh, building techniques when it comes to these. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, on the sides here, you can see that they have these little stud shooters, which uh, pretty much just work like any other stud shooter. You just take the little weapon here and you just fire and it fires pretty far. And I'm actually quite surprised on uh, how good that does shoot. But uh, you can see that they does have some landing gears down here. The whole build of it is nice and sleek with uh, kind of minimal uh, studs on top, especially in the back here. Um, this set does include stickers, so that does kind of suck uh, when it comes to some sets. Um, those little doors that you saw on the uh, car were also stickers. So, But you do have some stickers here, here, here. And I think this whole windshield piece is also a sticker, but I don't really remember. But... Uh, if it is, it does look very nice, but uh, I think it's overall really nice build. You'll also see that there is some little flame pieces down here, and that is to accompany the other kind of play feature is by taking off these wings that are on ball joints, which is very nice. And you can pretty much mimic the scene where the plane is going inside the tunnel um, when it lost its wings for, you know, going inside there. So it's a very nice little iconic scene and you can have the uh, car kind of right next to it. And I think that's really, really cool. And they look pretty decent together. I actually really do like it. But you can see the scaling of both of them right here, um, which is very nice. And I do appreciate just the overall, like, love that went into this set. I, you could tell that somebody really did enjoy making these Indiana Jones sets. And I really do like them. Honestly, with these builds, these builds are very nicely done. They're easy to put together. And um, overall, it's just, like, a fun build, building experience. The wings don't feel floppy at all. They're connected to these very strong ball joints. Uh, but they don't flap around. They are pretty much just in place. So I really do like the way this looks. I like the building techniques of like the wings here. And uh, just the overall shape of it is very nice. But we also do come with another little build. Which is very, very small. But you can see that we have this little thing. 
which is just a little set decoration piece. You can see that it says Berlin right there with the little caution tunnel right here because that's where they're going into and a nice little display piece. So I think this little sign really does make up the whole scene. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. So we're going to take a look at the three minifigures that come into this set. So starting off with our first Lego minifigure, we have with us Indiana Jones himself in his um, Last Crusade look. And I think it looks very, very nice. I really do enjoy the way this whole figure looks. It's such a nice update to the original Indiana Jones Lego, which honestly is such an iconic Lego figure that honestly it's just hard to find fault with it. But with this new Lego figure, I think it looks awesome. I love the new hat and hair combo. I think that really does go a long way. I think that's so cool. He also does have uh, his nice serious kind of face, uh, which is kind of like has a smirk to it. But then if you also kind of flip this one around, you can see that he has this kind of not so serious, more kind of um, you know, smirk, not really smirk. It's more of a, just like a, um, classic Indiana Jones style of face, but it does look very nice. And I really do like the way this looks. You can see that the front of the suit has, um, you know, the, the usual jacket, but it also does have this very nice little undersuit with like the flannel and a nice little tie, which is pretty much how he looked in the movie. He also does have the classic holster with uh, the belt combo. I think that's so, so cool. And he also does come with two accessories, which is his whip that he's been using for so many years now. And of course he does come with the revolver, the pistol. I think that's super, super cool. I believe that is a completely new um, Lego mold. Um, I know we've used something like that in the past, but it just feels very different from the, uh, old style of, um, of, uh, pistols that we've had before. But I think this is very nice. I think that's really, really cool that they did that. He also does have a little bit of back printing there with some buckles and just some wrinkling. And I think just overall, just, it's really nicely detailed. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice update to the actual figure. So now let's move on to the next. The next figure we're taking a look at is a huge update from his original counterpart, which I really do like. Never had that original figure, but I think this is a very nice uh, looking figure overall. I'm trying to center it on camera a little bit, but this is Professor Henry Jones Sr. Really, really do like the way this guy looks. He is super, super nice looking. Enjoy everything about this minifigure. Does have no leg printing, which kind of sucks, but really do like the overall suit that he has on there. Very nicely detailed with the bow tie, the little, uh, I guess, the little buckles, the overall just highlights and wrinkles. I think that's super, super nice. He comes with this umbrella, which I believe we've seen that before, maybe on like the Penguin or some Lego City um, sets. He also does come with the little uh, uh, bag, which inside the bag, there is actually something inside the bag, which is pretty dope. He does come with, eh, I'm getting it out, a tiny little um, square piece right here, which I believe was the little diary that he had in the movie, which is very nice, nicely tattered and stuff like that. I think that's really, really dope that he does come with that. But um, you can see that he does have this very nice uh, head sculpt, which I think is really nice, especially with the hat off. It looks very identical to the actor, and I think it looks so cool. It's such a nice looking figure. I love the glasses, the wrinkles, the um, the use of the, um, you know, just they, they went all out with this figure. And of course, he does have this uh, hat, which I think really does fit the figure. He has no uh, back head sculpt as... Um, you know, it would be a little weird to add the hat and then see another face underneath it, which is why they don't do that with these kind of figures. But this is a very nice looking figure. I enjoy this one a lot. And here we have the fighter pilot, which I believe this is also, you can, it's technically like the Nazi pilot, I believe. But it's it's very nice. I really do like the sculpting. Not sculpting. The uh, overall print job on this figure. I think it's very, very nice. I especially love this front piece. This is so cool. It's such a unique looking um, piece. I really do like the way that looks. Um, he does have the brown gloves. He also does come with his own pistol as well. He comes with this classic style of uh, helmet with the goggles that can pretty much go down on his face. I think that's really, really cool. You can also see his little eyes poking through. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get both of them uh, as well. But uh, 
ticking that off, you can see that he does have this head sculpt, which we've seen this head sculpt before. I believe the last time I saw it was in the Resistance Battle Pack for, I think it was Force Awakens. No uh, back printing, but or no uh, back head printing. And I uh, think that's really nice. I like the overall kind of, uh, I, what would you call that? It's like the sand color. That's what I usually call it. Uh, but he also does have some wrinkling in the back here, and I think this is a very dope. So let's put all these minifigures together and overall give my final conclusion score. So for scoring a set like this, it's very different from when I score actual figures. So I had to kind of come up with my own little thing. Uh, for price, this thing is about 30 bucks, and for 30 bucks, I think it's pretty decently worth it. Um, I don't see a need for it to be any higher. I think 40 bucks would have been a little too much, but 30 I think sits very nicely, especially for nowadays prices. And um, I think the build, yeah, I, I think that was like a lot of fun to do. Um, the builds are very, very nicely nice looking, and um, I I did enjoy the building process when I uh, first got this set. And I think the quality of these builds is actually very nice as well. I really do like the stability of the wings, even though they do pop off. That's kind of like the main play feature. And I just do overall, it doesn't feel like any of it's going to like fall apart or anything like that. I think just overall the build is just super nice. And I do like the inclusion of the little background piece with the sign uh, pointing to Berlin and the uh, caution at the top. The three minifigures that we get for uh, Indiana Jones, the Professor, and the Fighter Pilot, I think all three of them are beautifully done. I especially love the Professor. Um, I think that head sculpt is beautiful. I think that's one of the best head sculpts, and it looks pretty much like uh, I think it was it Sean Connery. I think that's it looks pretty much dead on to him. Um, I overall love the new pieces for Indy. Overall new prints for these guys. Um, I think the only thing that I can really say is I wish um, both the characters for the fighter pilot and uh, the professor, I wish they both had legs, leg printing. Um, I think that just simple little wrinkles. I think that just would have made the overall quality of these um, of these two very, very nice to uh, to look at. But overall, this is a very nice looking set. I think that it's worth the price. I think that the minifigures are awesome. And just having it on display here just is so cool. So if you haven't gotten this set, I would suggest getting it. I think it's really, really fun. Um, I do think that, uh, you know, it's a little basic, you know, but I think that fighter pipe fighter plane is a very nice looking build plus the car as well and of course you get three pretty amazing figures so i think for my score i'm giving this thing a 4.9 out of 5 and it's very close to being perfect um but there, there there's you know it could have been maybe a tiny bit better with some leg printing um maybe not include stickers either i think that was also another thing that i don't care for but um, yeah, I think that this is a really nice set and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this review. So I think that this is one of the coolest little Indiana Jones set for like 30 bucks. I think that it's worth pretty much the price and I do really enjoy all of it. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I... Sorry. What's up? Oh, really? All right, well, beat me up, I guess. I have to go. We have some other incredible Lego reviews coming, especially next Monday. I'm excited for next Monday, so hope you guys can find a hint somewhere. But see you guys later. It's my pathetic excuse as trying to get a hint. Looking at a Star Trek set.